Three boats intercepted in the space of just 25 minutes. Yet another busy morning for the border force. On board, 43 men and six women. Some of them pictured here, given face masks and taken back to shore. And in tow, one of the dinghies, just a couple of meters long. Clearly, no chance of social distancing. Scenes like those along the Kent coast this morning have become more and more frequent. There's been a massive increase in the number of attempted channel crossings since the start of the coronavirus outbreak. Since January, at least 829 migrants have made it to the British coast. But on Monday alone, 90 were intercepted. And the number arrested in France planning to cross the channel has risen by three times since this time last year. It is concerning. I mean, it, it does affect the staff employed locally at the borders. It's of a concern to the residents. And of course, you know, there, there's a danger element that, that, that the migrants are taking. I mean, it's an extremely dangerous piece of water to try and cross. You know, it's like walking blindfolded across the M25. So you know, the, the, there's dangers all the way around in this. But we are seeing unprecedented numbers and the reality is they're not going to go down. It's also led to concerns about whether those coming could be carrying the virus and could spread it to others. The government has confirmed that those who are intercepted won't be tested, but will be monitored for symptoms. On the other side, in Calais, coronavirus is having a dramatic impact on the migrant camps. The place they live is very overcrowded and there's a lack of sanitation, so obviously the fear from the virus is quite high. But even more than that, um, the virus has meant that a lot of NGOs have pulled out and the government has cut back its services. So there are food and water shortages, um, essential services like phone charging and medical help have really disappeared. The government say they are working day and night to break up the gangs bringing over the migrants. The journey has always been fraught with danger. Now there's the added risk of catching and spreading coronavirus too. Sam Holder, Sky News.